My grandfather often happily proclaimed to my mother that my fiancé and I were his best readers. Seeing his newest tale or poem were always the highlights of our week, and we did our best to let him know we saw and appreciated every piece we received. They always brought me such peace and happiness, as I soaked up and was inspired by his adventures, humor, wittiness, his authenticity, courage, and kindness. I and the rest of his family and friends are so blessed to have known him and had the chance to explore the beauty of this world through his eyes and words. I realize looking at it now that the impact hearing his stories had on my life reaches far deeper than I could ever hope to put into writing. But to examine a few, before his passing three weeks ago, I was already a few months into the process of designing a plan for how I wanted to reignite my childhood passions for adventure and creativity. These had always survived as a glowing ember in my mind due to the fanning effect of his stories. That ember combined with a Christmas morning spark of inspiration and the kindling of an analytical business analyst's life evolved rapidly into the fire driving me to launch my project. But I wouldn't notice until after Project Live Fully was live that his tagline on Facebook was, Live to the fullest and never give up. I had already constructed the goal but on the day after he passed away, I released my first video explaining my dream of earning a spot as an explorer photographer with National Geographic, and only then seeing the obvious reflection in his own experience publishing a wildlife magazine. As I pursue this dream, I want to become a better storyteller, because I know the amazing value that stories hold in our lives. This launched the idea that, while I am working to become a better photographer, I could also be building my experience telling stories by continuing to spread and allow for his creations to impact people. In reading through dozens of examples to find the right fit, I found building dreams. In the story, available on my personal channel, he talks about a game warden from the Virgin Islands that they'd met for the magazine, who had spent over a decade rebuilding a sailboat by hand, overcoming every obstacle imaginable all in the hopes that he could take his children and share in the memories his father had recounted throughout his youth of sailing the sea with his own father on a gorgeous handcrafted boat. Grandpa explains that he wants us to go out and build our own dream boats. No matter what form that dream takes, we should chase those passions, and if possible, tie that to our history and family heritage, such that we can pass something down to the generations that follow. He knew that we are busy, that these goals may take years to accomplish and that we may get discouraged, but he urges us to persevere because the more difficult the journey, the more value realized at the end. While his dreamboat was the International Game Warden magazine, and of course his ever-growing family, both of which are still sailing on today, I promise again here, as motivated as I have ever been, that I am going to pick up his torch and using this project, I can build the dreamboat that will carry me closer to him by becoming a better storyteller pursuing National Geographic. I'm going to follow in his footsteps and go on as many adventures around this world as possible by taking my fiance and future family along to show them and the rest of the world all the magic that can be found outside the walls of our ordinary lives. From winding rivers and canyons and tropical island beaches to rolling plains, ancient forests, dense jungles, and towering mountains. We will explore cultures, meet amazing people, study history, cherish and help protect the wildlife just as my grandparents did. As part of this journey to become a better storyteller, I am launching a series on my channel today where I will continue to spread and share the wisdom, joy, humor, and inspiration I always found in Grandpa's stories with the world, starting with building dreams. While I may narrate many of these, I hope that I can also enlist the help of my dozens of family members to share his work as well, because while his stories all may hold broad appeal, there are certainly many where you can tell he had a single child or grandchild in mind as he wrote. Additionally, while the ties to my grandfather Don Hastings are so strong with this project, I would be completely remiss if I did not also take the chance to celebrate, cherish, and preserve the stories of my other amazing grandparents, relatives, and friends, too. In the end, my grandfather wanted us all to chase our dreams, even if they seem impossible. 
If you don't think you have enough time, enough money, enough experience, or anything else, you should still start. It doesn't matter if you stumble and need breaks along the way, but never give up. This is Project Live Fully. It is how he lived his life and how I aim to live mine as well. Becoming a storyteller for National Geographic, similar to him, and building this project to help as many people as possible is my dream. And no matter what, I will not give up. So subscribe today, let me know what your dream is, and let's go on this adventure together.